I will first uh, shortly introduce myself and tell, tell about my experiences uh, in publishing research. So uh, I'm pretty new in this field in, in, in academic world. So uh, my, my background is uh, from the industry. I used to work at Nokia for uh, 12 years uh, before, before joining University of Oulu. Uh, at the beginning of 2012, so I started to work on a dissertation uh, based on my experiences in the in the industry. So it was related to product development, and uh, uh, I also had a chance to visit visit the University of California, San Diego, a couple of years ago for six months, doing research on on business ecosystems. Uh, after that, I worked as a postdoctoral researcher and, and degree program head, head uh, in industrial engineering and management. And uh, my current job is uh, university lecturer. So I do a lot of teaching, but I, I do do some research as well. So about 50% of my time, I, I focus on the research. And uh, what I study is, is uh, innovation and, and product management. Uh, uh, business networks, business ecosystems, uh, supply chain management. So those are the research areas. And uh, as I'm relatively new in this field and, and I come, come with a bit of different background, so I, I don't have a, that many publications, but uh, this picture shows the, the publications I have uh, done so far in, in, in academic journals. Of course, I have some conference articles as well, but they are, they are not included. So, so on the left, we have, uh, have the open access channel. So, so first one is a publisher called to No Press, which is a kind of a joint uh, imprint of, of three universities, one in Thailand, two in Europe. So I published uh, four articles in in those journals uh, by, by this publisher. And, and then uh, on the bottom, bottom left, we have uh, uh, one that can be categorized as, as a predatory publisher, so scientific research uh, uh, publisher. And the uh, journal is called Technology and Investment. So I, I will talk a bit more about the results from, from that journal later on. And then on the right, uh, uh, we have two traditional publishers. The first one is Indoscience, so I have published four papers in, uh, in the journals of that publisher, and, and then two in uh, Emerald journals. So, so kind of 50-50 uh, split between, between the kind of the open and, and traditional channels. And uh, how, how I view this um, topic is that um, there, there are pros and cons uh, in, in each of these channels. So, so if we consider these open access uh, publishers, so they are really fast and, and they, can, they can make your article available uh, uh, for a big audience. So, so it reaches uh, different kind of audience, it's not just the academic people, but also people from the from the industry. So it's pretty easy to, to uh, spread the results of, of your work. And uh, on the bottom of the, of the slide, you, you have some data. Uh, you can see some, some data about the kind of the results. So, so on the left, I have an article that was uh, published in, in, uh, in a predatory journal. Uh, and it has been available uh, for two years now. And kind of based on the results that they show, there they have been about four downloads per day for that, that article. And it has, it has uh, uh, got uh, pretty uh, good citations as well, at least in Google Scholar. Of course, the kind of the citations are not, not uh, seen in other, other channels. Then on, on the right, Bottom right, I have the, the article that was uh, published uh, at the beginning of this year in uh, 
pretty okay uh, journal by by traditional publisher and uh, journal was European Journal of Innovation Management and, and uh, so far the results have been one download per day so it, it has although the article is is uh, new and and at least I think that the topic is is pretty interesting the kind of the download results are uh, quite modest compared to the open access journal so Reads, reads and availability are, are kind of the benefits of open access journals and uh, but then there are also also some cons so so you don't get that much prestige by publishing in, in this type of journal and uh, in some cases you also uh, don't get a good review feedback so the review feedback can be really modest and that uh, they, they can they can uh, accept your publication uh, pretty easily so you as a researcher have, have to kind of ensure that the the, the article is uh, is good enough to be published so you have a bigger responsibility if you decide to publish in these channel channels and uh, if you think about your uh, uh, opportunities in academic career so if you just focus on this this open access uh, journals, especially kind of the predatory ones, they, they don't help you in your academic career. So if you try to pursue that, you have to be pretty careful. Of course, there are also good open access journals, as, as Mika, Mika mentioned. So, so these are kind of more uh, about the kind of the, these predatory publishers. And for the traditional channels, I, I believe the biggest uh, uh, Benefit is the, is the prestige uh, in academic world. You usually get uh, pretty good uh, reviews. Of course, reviews are all, always subjective. So I have experienced so that one review thinks that this is best, the best thing after pancakes, and then the next one thinks that the article should be immediately rejected, and it's it's completely completely wrong. So they are always subjective. Yeah, that's my experience. Uh, in traditional channels, you you get uh, pretty good citations in in in, in this uh, well-known databases like Web of Science and, and Scopus. So so that's a good thing if you if you wanna uh, make progress in 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 academic world. On the other hand, the kind of traditional channels are pretty slow, so uh, sometimes it can take uh, one or even two years to get the, the article published in, in traditional channels. So, so it's uh, it takes a lot of time, and uh, it's it's not that easy to disseminate your results outside the academic world. So, in my field, we usually try to spread the results to the uh, stakeholders in the industry and uh, in the traditional journals it's it's not that easy okay so uh, <clears throat> as a, as a uh, kind of uh, final thoughts uh, from my point of view I, I, I see that there are different type of open access channels so we have this this predatory publishers which you have to be careful with you have a big responsibility uh, as a researcher. Then there are university presses. Uh, well, not all are, all of them are like Stanford University Press, but but there are there are there are various university presses available. Uh, there are many open access journals by traditional publishers nowadays. So uh, if I remember right, Springer has announced that they, every new journal that they they start they it will be an open access and then you can go go for uh, traditional channels and and, and uh, pay for the for the article to be published as, as open access but uh, as we commented uh, it's some it's not encouraged by the funders publication forum is a good way to check whether you are in doubt so so if i go for open access i usually check if, if the if the uh, journal is listed there 
But that, that, that is also another subjective forum, in my opinion. So, so it's a kind of people who, who make decisions on the, on the level of, of journals. And there are, there are also international rankings available. And uh, I believe those are, those are uh, kind of uh, should be enough, in, in my point of view. Uh, I believe future is open in, in publishing, so uh, funders require open access of Academy of Finland, as, as Mika told. And then, then uh, there's a picture about a recent, uh, recent article from, from uh, uh, Open Access uh, Open Science Conference in Amsterdam, where EU R&D commissioner uh, stated that uh, journals based on EU-funded science should be free to access. So, I think that's that's the way to go, and uh, information should be available uh, for everyone. That's that's my personal opinion. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Well, if no one else, maybe I can. Uh, we earlier discussed, and you said that you have had some funny bargaining experiences. Oh, yeah, yeah, also. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention. So, so, so I get a lot of emails, as as, as <laughs> probably many of you do, from this this open open journals, and uh, uh, especially predatory publishers are eager to email you, and uh, you get kind of offers that. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, an Indian journal was uh, was having like a seasonal ticket, so you can you can get uh, ten articles published uh, by paying five hundred dollars. One article one article would be like one hundred dollar, but if if you wanna publish ten, you can get edit that with five hundred dollars. And uh, then if you think about that, then does it look good on your list of publications? I don't think so. So they are they are pretty funny offers, and some some uh, in some emails they state that the, the kind of the acceptance notification will be received in in one week, or even three days. So then you can kind of figure out whether whether they have a review review process at all. But they kind of journals I, I have been publishing they they have a review process. So I I, I kind of choose choose tend to choose those type of journals. <laughs>